guess what? Websites that you can participate in and have an account on have rules, and they don't need to apply those rules evenly. They don't have an obligation to fill people in on really anything. We're on their bandwidth using their website. We don't call the shots, and they can change the terms of service at any time. I've been doing forums, starting on BBSs, since the late 80s. It's back when you'd call another computer with your phone modem and connect to a program that they have on their computer. It was like that, right? Wasn't the internet. But even back then and since then, I've seen a lot of strange rules and draconian rules. I've seen a lot of uneven handling of rules. I've seen people be kicked off a site just because the sysop didn't like them. You're at their whim, not the other way around. And this is why the way that some people act when they get censored on these platforms looks so ridiculously childish. It's like how sysops of BBSs would sometimes have to block some people's numbers because those people would keep calling back to try to find some way to harass. Or let's, let's try to create a new account, even though, you know, it's, it's just one number calling in. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's that level of childishness. Well, you, you didn't let me in, I'm gonna... That kind of thing, you know? I mean, sure, it's always been around, and it's always looked as pathetic as it is. At least, until people have gotten put up on a pedestal for that same type of behavior now. What I find to be hilarious, sorry, but I really thought it was laugh-out funny, was when people were declaring that getting demonetized is censorship. Oh, it's soft censorship. Oh, give it a rest, you petulant child. Yes, this sort of shit is the level of intelligence we're dealing with here. This is the level of maturity we're dealing with here. This is the level of snowflakeness that many, not all, of the right, alt-right, anti-SJW, anti-progressive, anti-identity politics, except for white identity politics, libertarian, right-leaning, supposed classical liberal types who don't want the label right-winger, have been putting out. It's the idea that censorship on a company's website is a violation of your First Amendment rights, and being demonetized is censorship and therefore is also a violation of your First Amendment rights. I mean, if she floats, she's a witch, right? Now, to be fair, many people stopped saying that demonetization is a violation of the First Amendment rights, and even a few of them actually admitted that it's not even a form of censorship. So there are some people who are actually using their brains a little bit, and that's very much appreciated.